10 Tampa Bay's Jenny Dean joins us live from John Hopkins, all children to explain why parents, according to doctors, need to take action now. Yeah, good morning, Frank. We checked yesterday with uh, Johns Hopkins All Children's here in St. Pete. They have 19 children currently hospitalized with COVID-19. 11 of them are in the intensive care unit. So I spoke with pediatric uh, uh, infectious disease specialist Dr. Juan Dumois and asked him how he addresses concerns that parents may have about getting that 12 to 17 year old age group vaccinated. And one of the biggest concerns that we hear is about possible long term health effects. He says he looks at history and science and children have been getting routine vaccinations since the 50s and 60s. What we've learned about side effects is that the side effects of most vaccines occur within a couple of months of administration of the vaccine. We don't see five year later side effects of these vaccines in general. Short term or rare side effects that people have been reporting like myocarditis or swelling of the heart. This is what he had to say about that. The chance of that myocarditis is so rare. Um, a, a teenager in Florida is at least three times more likely to die in a car accident than to get myocarditis. So families are avoiding giving their kids vaccines because of myocarditis. They also should not allow their children in cars. Now, Dr. Dumois says that the COVID-19 vaccine is one of the safest vaccines that they have ever seen and that the effects of COVID-19 on a child can be way worse than what they're seeing with the vaccine. And while hospitalizations and deaths are rare in children, it's not rare if it's your child.